welcome back everyone to the channel we are on on the road today because i wanted to get out it's nice and brisk a good you know 42 you know degrees or so here in the uh houston area and uh and i'm loving it so anyhow today's video we're going to talk about power now i labeled uh, the thumbnail on youtube uh, more power because i'm going to talk about the chain right now i've had a lot of questions regarding the chain conversion kit is that uh, is that worth it right in my opinion or not and you know my answer is going to be yes and no and it's up to you but i'm going to explain to you why so stay tuned welcome back to the channel everyone and happy new years happy 2024 to all of you all this is my first video of 2024 um one thing i want to mention to you guys let me know please let me know in the comments if you like this view right here of the insta 360 that kind of shows my whole motorcycle here and uh and this whole view i think it's going to come out pretty good i got the idea from uh, influencers and instagram so shout out to you all so i figured i'd try it and bring you guys just a better uh video and just more of a real life experience of being on these two wheels right so um but anyhow so chain drive kit right does it give you more power no <laughs> the engine does not produce more power simply because you convert it to a chain drive kit right now um but it does make your motorcycle oh baby I'm, I'm, I'm feathering the thing here the throttle oh man anyways but it does make your uh, Harley Davidson, in my case, you know, Rogue Lights, um, it does make them feel more responsive with the chain drive, right? So, does it give you more power? Obviously, no. It doesn't, your engine doesn't increase uh, power, but it does give you more responsivity? No. Anyways, you know what I mean. It does make your, uh, your drive, your ride, more responsive when you twist the throttle and i think it's because it's simply because of the chain you have the chain to the front sprocket the chain to the rear sprocket and when you go boom there's no uh there's no in between that it's just it's just it's just you know metal and metal kind of deal now i'm not saying that the belt drive is not good please don't think that i'm saying that all the belt driven motorcycles are not good i've seen a lot of motorcycles that are about 150s may some in 160s on a belt drive right and they're perfectly fine for like you know rolls and stuff like that the thing about it is in that kind of situation is if you're going to take off off the line and you have that kind of horsepower uh you know 150 i would say 150 and plus on your uh, bagger or your or your motorcycle in my case i'm going to talk about my rogue lights then you know that's where you run into maybe the belt not slapping but the but the 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 teeth kind of getting chewed up right on the belt right now they're very strong belts but that's where you kind of get onto that now obviously when you go to the track and you drop the the you know you dump the clutch and you twist the throttle all the way back that's when you run into those situations or maybe possibly off the line and of course there's wear and tear right so again belt is perfectly fine but in my case we're talking about hot rod baggers baby you know what i mean and i'm sharing my experience with you as a consumer and as a rider right so it does make your motorcycle more responsive it does have some more get up and go like right here i feel right compared to before and the the uh the feeling of that is immediate right so again it doesn't make your uh you don't get more power like that but i believe you gain speed because you're just quicker once your throttle you know once your gas once you twist the throttle and you communicate to the engine hey i need for you to go faster and then that transfers over to your chain drive kit and it just makes it more responsive you know that's my opinion that's how i feel on my um, on my both of my uh, rogue lights and i really really like it you all i really really like it so um do i recommend them to you all yes absolutely i, I wouldn't recommend it to you all if um if uh, i didn't believe in the products right you know me i'm very quick to put something on it if i don't like it i'm gonna take it off for the most part right now um is this where i turn no i think i keep going straight wait no i can't no i keep going straight <laughs> i get confused i'm over here uh north houston basically in conroe uh going to the back roads just enjoying my ride everybody in case you're wondering where i'm at but anyhow so um yeah i do recommend it um it's it's up to you guys you know if uh if you uh if you want a better response no matter how much horsepower or torque you have change rise chain drive is the way to go in my opinion but no oh, i put the gear let's go 
But again, it's all up to you all. Do you need it? No, but it's only till you get to those 150 plus horsepower and torque numbers that you might want to start thinking about them. Right now, which one? Which chain drive kit? Uh, I'm going to recommend Trask. I'm going to recommend Trask all the way. Right now, on my, uh, this one has a Trask chain conversion kit. You can get it, I think it's 650 or, uh, or, or like 699 but don't forget to call Eric use my code for 10% off um, uh, which is 2147 crew and if you're a veteran uh, hopefully they still have the 20% um, the, uh, off for you guys but just give Eric a call and if not I'm sure he'll give up with a, with a little something but I'm gonna recommend the Trask a chain drive kit simply because um, it's readily available and that's what I have on this one and that's what uh, other of my friends have had and they work very very well now I say readily available because on my turbo glide I have the alloy art uh, rear sprocket it's been fine I like it no problem the, the thing is that I've ran through it so that chain drive kit has asked me or the sprocket on that uh, uh, chain drive kit for my turbo bagger has lasted me 20,000 miles um, but that's a hard hard cross-country you know thousand mile daily rides 1600 may a daily ride when we went back and forth to El Paso check out that video and um, and um, and uh, and it's worked just fine the problem I have with that alley art one is I called to uh, I called them to uh, to get the sprocket replaced because or to order a new sprocket which is about 200 bucks right because um, um, you know you need to replace the sprocket after they've been worn but again in my case it was hard miles and uh, and they tell me that they didn't have it in stock but they were gonna have it in a couple of weeks and I was like or you know something like that I'm like okay that's fine I mean I can wait a couple of weeks because it was a winter time but I just didn't know that there was gonna be a, a delay on that now could it just be when I called and whatever but um, you know I kind of like to order stuff and get them you know when I order them I'm sure you guys are as well get nothing wrong against that that sprocket but Trask, I call Eric, hey guys, uh, I need this and that. They're like, all right, cool. You know, this is how much it is and uh, you'll have it in three days. Boom, that's it. I don't know why, but it's almost like Trask has just like their supply chain is just on point. You know, they just have it all. So as a consumer, you can just order it and get it, right? So that's why I would recommend the chain drive kit. Also because it's durable. It's durable and, uh, and I like it. Now, the maintenance. I know you asked me about the maintenance, right? The maintenance, well, um, it does have more maintenance because the belt uh, uh, driven ones doesn't have any maintenance, right? Now, um, the maintenance is uh, is pretty simple. Pretty much when you wash your bike or uh, or when you change your oil. In my case, I do it either either uh, you know one or the other or both. I really don't mind it. I just get a little degreaser, just like hey, you did on your BMX bike or your mountain bike. Same concept. You just get a degreaser. I'll run the whole chain. And then um, that was my ill attempt at a whistle. But anyways, and then I just go and put the the, uh, the synthetic uh, lube over the chain, wipe it off with a rag, and that's it. Now people have said that it's uh, it's messy. The one that I use, the Dupont one, it's not messy. You know, so I I, I don't know um, uh, um, um, why some people say it is. Maybe it's obviously the brand or whichever one they're using. But in my case, it has been messy, so I like it. So that's pretty much the maintenance. It's really not bad. Now, just like on the belt uh, kits, you do have to uh, check your belt uh, tension. And you know, you don't want it more than half an inch to have tension when you're not on the motorcycle, right? And I'm sure there's a lot of videos on YouTube about that. So you just have to tighten it up, tighten up uh, your, um, your tension for your chain, which you would do with your, with, your, um, with your belt anyways. I just don't know if you would do it more with your belt or more with the chain or it's kind of the same, right? In my case on this one, Granted, this is basically a new motorcycle, a whole refurbished, you know, hot rod. Um, about uh, 2,000 miles into me owning it, um, I had to take it over to uh, TCB Performance USA with Derek, and then he had to tighten up my chain, and um, and uh, and that was pretty much it, man. So, so that's it, man. So again, um, do I recommend? And does your chain drive kit uh, give you more power? Yes, I recommend it, but with a caveat that it's up to you. And lastly, um, does it give does it give your engine more power? No, it doesn't give you more power, but it makes your your motorcycle feel a lot more responsive because it will be simply because of the chain drive kit. And again, as a full disclaimer, this is my opinion as a 
as a consumer having um, rid a chain drive kit on my turbo bagger that has an excess of you know 200 horsepower and up or you know between that depending how I I have it uh, uh, set up for or how I have it set up and I had 20,000 miles on that one a hard uh, 20,000 miles and I didn't have a problem oh the chain EKG you want to go with an EKG chain mine has never stepped on me of course I've raced it a few times but never like dropped a clutch like that like I mean maybe I have but I just I just don't have racing experience which I'm gonna have this year right but uh, but yeah man so so I think that's all I wanted to cover with you guys today but I definitely want to make the video uh, for you guys to cover the um, the chain drive kit and is it worth it right so it's, it's it's kind of up to you so again if you have something you know tippet towing around 150 horsepower and below I, I don't i wouldn't say you would have to go get it guys you know i mean you can if you want to because it looks pretty awesome right um but uh but i would say you know uh you, you should be okay with your with your uh with your belt drive um with your stock belt drive system that goes from harley now when you're in the 150s though and up like in that range it's kind of like that 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 middle line right so it's up to you if i had a motorcycle that had 150 torque or horsepower yep i'm gonna um i'm gonna switch it over there so but again it all depends on you the rider how you ride it on the weekends uh, bar hopping road tripping racing or all of it like i like to do on my motorcycles right so it depends on the kind of rider you are as well i will say that and ride your ride even if you have a change right here with all the horsepower and torque right so um so yeah so um i think it's a it's a good option i recommend trask and uh that is it for you guys so i hope you really enjoyed this video i went old school on it in terms of being outside just you and me talking man you know and riding at the same time i'm really anxious to see what this uh footage looks like here in my uh, on my 360 from this little situation i have here so but anyhow y'all be good take care happy 2024 and ride your ride baby ride your ride